Hello everyone, my name's Holotide, and we're going to be going over some things about Halo Infinite that are kind of just, I don't know. After the holiday break, you know, there's been a lot of issues with the game, and Sketch actually made a post on Waypoint that we're going to go over. Before we do that though, if you want to help me out, make sure you like the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're grinding way towards 10k subs, so close. I would love to hit it by the year 2025. Anyways, Sketch posts that the 343 team is largely back in action, and, you know, everybody's wanted updates and stuff. People have been screaming on Twitter and Reddit, you know, like, where are you guys, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I understand people's frustration because there's a lot going on with the game that needs to be resolved, I guess, and fixed, those kind of things. And basically, they're asking, you know, for some patience. They want to answer our questions and manage expectations and create a roadmap. So that's kind of the first thing that not rubs me the wrong way, but just kind of blows my mind that they released a live service game and the only roadmap they had were the little events. I understand that they've never done this before, you know, MCC was kind of different, but even then they were giving us monthly updates, what we can expect, what fixes were coming, what was going to be added, new armor and stuff like that. It was, it was actually really nice. So for them to kind of release the game and think people didn't want or need a roadmap for the future, you know, content, even things that they were going to work on, I think is almost a little naive. I mean, of course, people are going to want updates on Forge and, you know, kind of custom games and co-op and all that stuff. So I, I can't imagine that they just didn't make right, one. Right. Anyways, they go on to talk about the uh, update with BTB and they say that they're going to have a, an update out for that as soon as they can. They were actually working on it over the break. So that was pretty cool. I hope those people got paid yeah. a little bit of extra since they were working on holiday. But it yeah. seems that... Um, there's going to be a fix coming soon, soon TM. And they said that they've been working on it since, uh, or it went into QA last week and it's, they haven't seen the issue internally. So fingers crossed that BTB gets fixed because I think the game sorely needs that game mode. We've kind of talked about casual social playlists and that's the only one pretty much other than Fiesta, I guess. So it's sorely missed, sorely needed. They go on to talk about the certification process and stuff for that so that we don't really have a date for that BTB fix. They also go on to talk about the mid-February update that looks to address a lot of things, other things, and that's in reference to cheating, and they really don't, I think, say anything else about what's going to be in there. But then, you know, say thank you for your patience, continued support, we're blown away, and humbled by the reception, and all that cool stuff, so that's very nice. But again, we don't really get any information about, you know, what's going to come in that mid-February patch. I mean, hopefully that it's a performance patch as well. Hopefully they're working on desync and, you know, engine issues, server issues, whatever it is that needs to be fixed. I really don't expect any more content, you know, in terms of maps and things like that until after this first season. I think that they kind of thought that that would be enough, maybe? I mean, the game launched with, like, three playlists and ten total maps. And then the battle pass was all challenge swaps and double XP, and I don't know. I hope that this is them getting their footing, and hopefully we see, you know, quick fixes to things. But again, a lot of this post is, like, patience, and it takes time, and, you know, things like that. So I'm not going to get my hopes up on that end. I do love the core gameplay. I, I think that it is fun, but it's just, I don't know. There's something that just doesn't feel rewarding about playing at this point. And that could be, you know, a multitude of factors being progression and, you know, server issues and things like that. So I think a lot of people's expectations are super high in regards to fixes and what 343 is going to be able to accomplish. And that's kind of what I think we need to talk about. I'm not going to tell you to not be disappointed or anything just because, you know, I'm I'm disappointed. I felt like I had my expectations in check anyways. And while I have had a ton of fun with the game, it just, again, it feels unrewarding. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!